Hey, it's Jason Stewart with the Stewart Estates team. I want to give you some information on when it may not make sense to do a short sell. So, if you're less than 10% negative on a property and you're happy there, you're comfortable there, you don't really feel like moving, and if you were to move, you'd be paying about the same each month in rent anyway, write it out. 10% negative is not a big deal. You're fine. Okay, another thing, if you're making positive cash flow on a property that you have rented or leased out, you're probably going to want to keep that property. Not always, but let's just say you're making $500 positive cash flow a month. Now, I don't care if you owe a million dollars on the property, and now it's only worth $100,000. If you're making $500 of true positive cash flow a month, I would ride that bad boy out. If you're making a little bit of cash flow and you're dealing with some tenants and the property's just a pain in the butt, then you gotta weigh if it's really worth it to keep that property. Now, there's a lot of people that come to me and say, well, you know, I'm making positive cash flow on a property, I wanna keep it. My mortgage is 2,000 and I got it rented for 2,200 a month. But then they didn't take into consideration the maintenance on the property. Sometimes they didn't even add their taxes onto that. Sometimes they didn't add uh, HOA fees. Uh, sometimes they didn't add uh, the fact that it might be vacant a couple months out of the year. Insurance, things like that. So when they add all that up, they're not really positive. They're actually pretty negative each month. And you got to think, the whole point of being a landlord is to make money. You're either going to have a property that you're going to sell and make a whole bunch of money later on, which is not going to happen if you're negative, or you're going to make some positive cash flow each month, which is not happening in those situations. So... When you boil it down, you're paying money each month to be a landlord. Nobody wants to be a landlord for free. It's not the funnest job in the world. So think about that. But if you're not that negative and you're making true positive cash flow, write it out, keep the property. It doesn't make sense for you to do a short sell. Jason Stewart with the Stewart Estates team. Call me, email me, or you can even go online at sdshortsells.com. Thanks a lot.